else up y'all's pop was cracking it's d both your exes video by deleted is titled i'm sick of j cole so from the video i reacted to yesterday a few of y'all told me to react to this particular video so we're gonna hear what he has to say i'm sure this is regarding uh j cole's new song port antonio which i've already given my thoughts on if you're interested in hearing what i think about the song and about j cole right now link down below <laughs> Check, check, check it out, okay? Uh, but yeah, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. Hey, cool fans, might as well back out and unsubscribe right now. Y'all are about to hate everything I have to say. And I hope I get under all y'all skin. Why do people just assume that all fans are just sheep and that they <laughs> are super biased when it comes to their favorite artists and they'll never criticize them and never want to hear anything wrong about them? Like... I mean, of course, there are a lot of people who are like that, but those are like the weirdo stands. Not everybody's like that. Be honest with you, I hope I irritate your soul. Matter of fact, drop a clown emoji in the comments. Welcome to Gotham City, baby. I'm about to terrorize that ass. I'm about to really bully this nigga, and I'm about to bully his fan base. And I ain't here for y'all to agree with me either. Ask me if I care. Go ahead. Ask oh, me I if can't I care. care. You can't cancel someone who doesn't give a fuck. And unlike your favorite rapper, I don't backtrack and apologize. You know me, I'm, I'm YouTube's biggest villain, the new right. biggest villain. The reason why I say that is because my, my opinion is not going to be popular. You might not like anything I got to say. <laughs> J. Cole is still a goofy, a passive-aggressive rapper. Being passive-aggressive should never be praised, by the way. And if I didn't have to worry about monetization in the first few minutes of this video, I would call him a bunch of other names off top. But I'll get back to that after the three-minute mark. Don't trip. This guy really pulled off the Nobody ultimate knows comment. how YouTube the world. He's some saintly, sunset, <laughs> cruising philosopher type of nigga on a bike. Get out of here with that. On his recent drop, Port Antonio, Cole takes a moment to address the big three beef between Drake, Kada, and himself. Listen, man, this isn't meant to criticize his talent or undermine his writing skills. It's about exposing his lack of integrity and his false claims of moral high Ground. It's all a facade. It's fake as fuck, and people keep falling for the shit. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. This oh, is this better? My bad, yeah. Thought another war, ain't drink, you'll always be my nigga. This is called gaslighting. Not only does he apologize to the guy who's been dissing him and rewriting history by claiming that it's the fans and the people that are writing the narrative of him picking a side, but now he's shifting the blame onto bloggers what did and he fans, apologize to accusing Drake? them of apologize. profiting from the beef. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. As if the bloggers and the fans started it. Huh? So that's why he didn't engage, huh? Because he didn't want others cashing in on the drama. Nigga, we over here minding our business like Kendrick was. You wasn't uh -huh. saying that shit when first person shooter went number two. You stood by it. First person shooter did did go number two. Nah, no, I didn't go number two, it went number one. But if it would have went number two, it wouldn't have met. Like, you know what pushed the first person shooter over the edge? And I noticed because this is Eve telling me this, not like I'm checking for this. If the other song would have went number one. It's like, bro, I'm, I'm cool. I almost feel better not having my first number one be off of Drake alley -oop. You know what I mean? Like, I love Drake and I love that I'm a part of that moment with him, with Michael Jackson. But it's like, bro, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. This man gonna try to sit here and say he wasn't checking for that to be number one. When that was gonna be his very first number, was it number one. one or Stop what? it, Cole. And then the most Who's shocking that? statement of the whole track. I would have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the pro. I would have gained the phone. This is for real a delusional man, child. You sound like a real hater. A hating child watching his friend's championship hater. game. And he tells them, hey, you did good, but you wouldn't have won against me. If I was out on the court, you would have won against me, though. Nigga, sit your ass down. Who was on the bleacher? Shut the fuck up, hater. Call over here wanting to be the narrator or the commentator really with that of the line. Infinity War. We don't need you to do that, bro. Sit down somewhere. We seen it. Your lyrics aren't changing our perspective, nigga. We seen it. We're trying to change the narrative and shit. We seen it. And then he sneaks in some lines like, I'm a killer with the pit. See this fire in my pit and think I'm dodging smoke. Yeah, okay. Then why act like you need therapy over a hip-hop beef, man? This is hip-hop. You didn't have to engage at all. If you're as morally upright and walk a truly virtuous path, I would think at 40 years old, your big man age, you wouldn't have fallen into this beef in the first place. You would have naturally knew it was wrong from the start because evidently that's your whole rap persona, right? Which is actually a crutch. You lean on this persona when shit gets tough. Bro, you should have stayed out of it. Just like all the other rappers that didn't get involved. You should have stayed the fuck out of it. Every rapper who did decide to join knew what was coming and what it meant. But for someone who claims to be the best and constantly throws subliminal shots, you don't get to throw stones and 
hide your hands when things get messy. Again, every rapper that tapped into this beef knew what would happen and what it meant. Whether they had the dope bars or not, they took the backlash to the chin and kept it pushing. Rick Ross, Rocky, Ye, Future, Metro, Drake, K-Dot, they all took the criticism and dealt with it like a man. J. Cole is a walking contradiction. Yeah, this is when I'm gonna tear that ass up. Come on, this ain't that Diddy party, bro. This ain't that Diddy party. He presents a righteous rhyme style with a noble attitude, but beneath all that lies envy and jealousy that runs deep. This is the same guy that dissed the SoundCloud generation. Remember that? Just because. Okay, just for the hell of it. Which started the whole Fuck J. Cole movie. What? Wasn't 1985 a response to Lil Pump? So, I don't think that was just for the hell of it. 1985 was after the... the uh... He did this unprovoked. Instead of taking the new artist under his wing, he... Let me know if I got my timeline wrong. But I'm pretty sure because I remember people saying he was talking directly to Lil Pump in that song. So. Just them sure. to criticize them. Have you heard what J. Cole has dropped? What are... I don't think he was yeah, this to everybody, okay, okay. was he? You knew that question was coming. What do we feel about right? like? yeah. it? How do you think? I... I, it was cool. I don't, I, I don't listen to J. Cole. I definitely listen to it. It was flooded, flooded my shit. It was everywhere. Why? Because everybody said he was talking about him. Absolutely. Who else what? would he be talking about? What other little... Either me or Uzi. Little Bow Wow. What? Right. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Wow, you get so much props. You just a 17-year-old. <laughs> Maybe I'm a comment. At the time they all gained high popularity Incredibly. that Cole always wanted and envied. J. Cole around that time would often claim his B-list celebrity status, knowing he technically wasn't the fan favorite, and his envy and jealousy shine through the cracks when attacking the SoundCloud wait, wait, go back. Fan favorite and his Which one be calling a pump like I just want to tell you because I'm trying to figure out who J. Cole's talking about in 1985. Envy and jealousy shine through the cracks. Jacko was talking to these niggas. Drops me, but I forgot to mention <laughs> messy. When attacking the SoundCloud era and basically straight hating on niggas. Now, a lot of you and myself could say in some ways he was technically right about some of the SoundCloud rappers. However, a lot of talent came out of that wave. XXX, Juice World, Uzi, and hell, even Yachty, if you want to be real. Everything he said about that era only worked on a few artists, but didn't work on the ones who made an actual impact. And they went against his narrative of bashing the SoundCloud movement and which I would like to point out he only dissed them for clout they were the wave at the time so for him to take oh. shots would keep him in the discussion art has always been wrong these were normal kids that produced yeah war. this was a response to Lil Pump so his, his information is off so basically Lil Pump was saying fuck J. Cole out of nowhere <laughs> and this was J. Cole's response to that like okay y'all little niggas trying to diss me but are y'all even going to be around in X amount of years? Um, so I think he was more so talking to Lil Pump. And who was the other little nigga that he used to uh, rap with that had that concert? And there was only like five people there. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Perp. Lil Smoke Perp. Smoke Perp. <laughs> yeah, him. Smoke Perp. Yeah, that's his name. Looking right here in the details. But yeah, it says J. Cole addresses Smoke Perp. Smoke Perp and Lil Pump on 1985. So the fact that he trying to like broaden it up to like, oh, Lil Yachty and Lil Uzi Vert, like, I feel like that was just the internet being messy and trying to make it seem like he was talking about all of them. But that's not how I took it. But I'm not cold. I don't fucking know. Maybe he was talking about them as well. Who knows? But that's just how I remember it. They came from nothing and created their own lane. And please don't mention his high morality wanting to lead the youth to a better outlook in life. I don't think he was ever trying to lead, lead the youth. Better than these guys. Where is this don't try from? to argue the fact that he was just being a leader to the youth when this nigga fucks with Drake. I've Drake never saw him about as a leader. the exact same things these young kids were. Like drugs and fucking bitches and basically and doing cheating. all the things he dis the same. Not, I don't think he listens to, to, to Cole like that. Because J. Cole, I've never, you know, felt like he was trying to appear morally superior to other people because he would be very vulnerable about his shortcomings and how you know he didn't he wasn't that great to his mom and <laughs> cheated on his woman like he would be very open about that 
and not trying to make it seem like he was better than anybody else. And I never have ever got the vibe that he was trying to lead the youth and be, you know, someone that they looked up to. I've never got that vibe at all, but I guess. So I'll rap his sport, but he condones it with Drake and does music with Drake and doesn't mind if Drake does it. I guess the difference is, is that Drake can actually rap and Drake doesn't back away from a beef. So he decides to be a hypocrite, a straight up hating ass hypocrite. He would then later backtrack on everything he said about the SoundCloud movement while talking to Little oh, Yachty. Yeah. At that point in time, you were kind of also, eh, fuck these new niggas too. Not outwardly. I never did anything I would think outwardly. Well, maybe I did. did I hate these rappers, especially the immature eight-week rappers, little whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like huh. came at all of the new generation. Yeah, but it wasn't. You see how this nigga didn't try to take accountability huh? and act as if he was attacked for no reason? I said I'm not close. I don't know. Slide, and he had to remind her that he came for a whole entire young generation, which he then admits to hating on Soldier Boy for the same exact thing and basically admitted to being an overall hater. A lot of that shit, for me, I was conflicted because on one hand, we partying all the time to this music. But on the other hand, I'm like, man, this shit go against everything that I think that I am or who I am. I had some fake morals. Around the time Soldier Boy came out, I don't know how this happened, but I had a, a realization within myself. But at that time, I had resistance. Similar to when you came out and your class came out, I had resistance. Nah, that's not the thing that I love. Like, what? Y'all fucking with this? Like, I was one of them. Yeah. And it was literally a part of me that had a realization. So I was like, bruh, you a hater. Like, yo, you are literally hating. Fast forward, when y'all came out, mind you, I'm coming off my biggest album ever, like 2014, Force of the Drive, boom, boom, boom. I'm feeling like, boy, I did it. This, that, and the third. And then right before my eyes, shit is shifting. Completely. I, completely shifting. It's like, man, with that shit on, we don't care about that shit no more, bro. Like, my knee-jerk reaction to that music was the same. It was, man, this shit, boom, boom. I had to have a conversation with myself like, nigga, you hating. Again, throwing stones and hiding your hands. I understand why J. Cole talking about false prophets, but didn't mention how you're changing in the Amber Cody's fucking entertainers and playing about the rules, sucking government dick for sake to stay cool. This guy also went at Kanye West when he not only used Kanye's song to break through mainstream with Workout Plan, which Kanye had to sign off and give him the okay to do so, basically using Ye for his first mainstream hit. This dude has multiple tweets glazing Ye throughout his career. For him to then take shots at Ye unprovoked just because he disagrees with Ye's stance. And while everyone has the right to speak up and share their opinions, even if they weren't asked to do so, yes, it's okay to disagree with someone. However, we all know Ye isn't a battle rapper to begin with. He doesn't battle rap. He's most likely not to respond on the track, but most likely in an interview or a rant. Most of Kanye's music is about self-uplifting and harsh motivational songs to work out to or just brain food to be great. The first time he's ever made any kind of actual real diss track was in fact the Like That remix against Drake and Lucian Grange. So at the time of False Prophets, oh, this bad. guy takes on an easy ass target. Let me diss a guy that I know that won't make a song back at me, who happens to be in their prime, so I'll gain attention through hip hop for coming at one of the greats. Basically, some more opportunist type shit. And another attack for clout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay Foles, every time. False Prophets, which that song wasn't about him. There's one verse that applies to him, for yes. sure. But if you listen to that song, that song is about what this shit is exposing and what I, you know, I got to check myself about. And I checked myself on that song. At one point in time, I put this dude on a major pedestal. And he ain't the only one that's been there. Jay been there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pac been there. Big been there. Nas been there. It's, it's a bunch of people that have sat on that pedestal of like, bro, you inspire me. And these kids come up to me and they tell me the same thing now. And there's nothing wrong with that. You inspire me. But it's when it's at an unhealthy level. Nah, nigga. You ain't fooling nobody but your dumb ass fan base. That's why Kanye to this day don't fuck with you. You just never stand on shit. Every situation, you backtrack. Or you like to drop out of the fight and act like it wasn't like that and everyone took it out of context. The same way you did the SoundCloud rappers and now you're doing Kendrick and Drake situation. You like to backtrack. 
J. Cole would then still later praise Kanye when the Genius documentary dropped in 2022, showing his support and admiration. He posted a picture of Kanye on his Instagram page saying, thank you for this Kanye West and Cootie Rod. Phenomenal, vulnerable, powerful, sad, inspirational, insightful, wonderful, masterful. Grateful to have watched. Are you guys really going to give props to somebody you think is a false prophet that you took shots at? Like, let's be for real here, man. Throwing stones and hiding your hands. Mm. And then there's the recent K Dot situation where he jumps on a track that's clearly aimed at his so called friend. <laughs> Fully aware of the beef between Dot and Drake, to make it worse, after Kendrick revealed that Drake had invited him to collaborate on the exact song that dissed him, and he declined it, would mean Cole knew about the situation, the reason behind it, and still chose to take shots with his friend's rival. Playing all sports in his music videos that only takes two players. I don't like mean chess, he knew that. Pong, football, that boxing, Kendrick, uh, Spider Man uh, meme. It was loud and clear what Drake and Cole was doing. Drake probably or was throwing that. stones. I've seen some Cole fans stick up for this behavior though, saying that he fell victim to Drake and didn't realize that Drake oh, was victim. using him to aim at K Dot. And <laughs> they tried to say he didn't realize that it was a Kendrick diss track at all. And I call bullshit on that. Not only is J. Cole He's about to be. 40 years old, making him older than both parties involved. He builds his entire music persona around being an analytical rapper. And you're telling me he suddenly couldn't read the fucking room and he became oblivious to the shit? So when he was called out by his friend, Kendrick, for clicking up with his foe, Drake, Cole released his seven-minute drill in a response, completely disrespecting KDOT's catalog, saying how we really and truly felt this entire time. Again, unprovoked, because Kendrick's like that verse was only a response to what Cole and Drake did loudly. Kendrick never broke J. Cole's character down the way Cole did to Kendrick. And it revealed J. Cole's true feelings that he's been keeping inside this entire time. A lot of people have amnesia and selective memory. And besides the J. Cole fan base, the seven minute drill track wasn't well receptive or praised. Actually, a lot of these bars that he said, this is light work. At the point when I pull up to park to come to the pod and then I work in the building, I can hear this playing off the phone. So I get out and say, yeah, what you think? Light pack. Well, if he's saying light pack, mm -hmm. and Amani said light pack, there's a few other I've heard just playing it into the gas station. It's been on. Everybody says. I think this is intentionally light. No. Yeah, I was I was literally thinking that. Like, I don't think he was trying to like take his head off and say the most outlandish, crazy shit. I think he was trying to engage in this. Oh, this. Well, we got a little, you know, robbery going on, guys. <laughs> let's let's come with our bars, guys. But when uh, Schoolboy Q, I guess, hit him up and was like, "Hey, this shit goes deeper." Da 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 da. This shit about to get crazy. That's when he's like, "Okay, oh, I'm out. I'm out, guys." You know, so <laughs> I don't think he was trying to come hard on, on Seven Minute Drill, but I still enjoyed it. I mean, I liked it. I liked the whole uh, album EP, whatever it was. The time for attention is not time. I still listen to time. Time. They had a number one. I said it before he did this. Come on, three. I said that to Hey, look at me. Look at me. It's not friendly time. friendly time at all. And I feel that Cole noticed that shit. He didn't give Kendrick the time to even respond. With him apologizing, knowing in this sensitive ass era, sensitive ass society, if K Dot were to respond directly to Seven Minute Drill after that apology, everyone would have crucified his ass for it and would ask the questions like, why attack someone who surrenders? Why bully someone that says sorry? That nigga knew what he was doing, man. Cole says it's because of Q warning him, and now he feels bad and doesn't want that burden on his soul losing his friend. Stop it. You just showed your whole ass twice. You're not K-Dot's friend. You're the nigga in school or just in life that our parents told that. us to watch out for. You know, the jealous, envious friend. The snake in tall grass, throwing stones and hiding their fucking heads. Drake has every right, every right to feel like Cole portrayed him. He does. I mean, look at the timeline of Drake and Cole's friendship. They were closely together way before J. Cole's breakthrough in music. Cole knew exactly what that first person shooter was about. Literally made a seven minute drill song standing on how he felt. Then backs out and leaves Drake hanging as if he wasn't the other half to the song 
homeboy that started this whole battle to begin with. Yeah, that shit don't work in the hood, nigga. Niggas will get fucked up for that shit. Out. That's called a snake, a flip-flopper. That's wishy-washy as hell. Cole the type of nigga that will run away when his homie getting jumped. What friend let 20 niggas go against their people alone? Especially when it was something that they helped start. And y'all try to say he's preserving his peace. Nah, man. He's just soft as baby shit. He's weak as hell. This nigga trying to act like he didn't make threats that led up to the war to begin with. And now all of a sudden he wants peace. He claims to be a peacemaker, but throughout his career, he's only shown hate, taking shots, but never standing by shit. Never standing on it. Always hiding behind the idea of the peace he talks about. I'm sick of Cole fans only accusing Drake for first person shooter, as if it wasn't both their song. If you're going to hold Drake accountable, then that should go for Cole too. And anybody new here that ain't never seen my content, I can't stand Drake's ass. He's a culture vulture and also a PDF file. I don't mess with those. So I'm not sticking up for Drake, but I could be unbiased. I could be unbiased a little bit. I'm not one of those people that, that act like someone's not a human being. If I was Drake, I wouldn't mess with Cole. Cole's a flip flopper. And, and he left him hanging. Because because if Drake would have apologized after push-ups, the world would have caved in on him. And they wouldn't have gave him the same Purple Heart that they tried to give to J. Cole's ass. I'm not here to convince y'all, though. I'm, I'm saying, I'm not here to convince y'all, though. I'm here to talk shit. This new song <laughs> proved how much of a bitch he is between both k Dot and Drake. Like some female sleeping with two niggas and can't choose a side type shit. It's lame as hell. And then J. Cole proceeds to hop on a song with Rocky. Once again, his quote-unquote friend's foe, knowing he was clearly throwing shots at Drake, just so he could later say he has respect for Drake and Port Antonio. He basically did to Drake what he did to Kendrick Lamar. And, and that's Drake's karma. Honestly, it's funny as fuck. However, that just reveals the true snake-ass nature that J. Cole represents. Throwing stones and hiding your hands. J. Cole, go ride a bike, nigga. You're not fooling nobody but your dumb ass fan base. Why people, people beta keep saying squad, that? Ride a bike. Boys. Take that high virtue shit mm -hmm. on, man. Your bars hold no weight any longer. This is hip-hop, gang. You shouldn't have started nothing if you can't stand on it. Y'all niggas condone spineless behavior. Y'all are easily tricked into believing he's doing the right thing. And his fan base refused to see the bitch-assness in him. He uses that as a crutch when he's proved he's done this exact thing time and time throughout his career. And you guys say, oh, he's such a good guy. Look at him ride his bike. Get the oh, fuck okay, out okay. of here. Cole is he definitely is a bad man. Drake is zesty as fuck. Don't get me wrong. But this nigga always holds himself as an alpha. Whether he's pretending to be or not, he stands on what he does, and he says what he gotta say. He doesn't let people push him around, and he stands on all ten. He has a spine, and he takes his L. J. Cole is spineless and folds under pressure. People act like we say J. Cole can't rap. The shit ain't got nothing to do with it. His skills ain't got nothing to do with it. He's a facade like Drake. Wanna be conscious and morally correct, but it's a front. The same as Drake wanting to be gangster is a front. They're two peas in a pod. They're both facade-ass rappers. So pretty much that was a backhand apology to k Dot. His new track confirms that. Saying he wouldn't have lost, but he would have lost a friend? What kind of backhand statement is that? Niggas throwing shots, but taking it back at the same fucking time like what it's petty and it gives auntie vibes and to be honest auntie the vibes. song sounds like he's taking shots at k dot mentioning bots i gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing one of the main kindred disses throughout the beef of him being accused of using bots for his streams and using bots to dislike I drake's songs he knows like for example here's a nuanced opinion that's actually true did kendrick use bots yes does it matter? And did are people outside loving this song? Yes. Like, nigga, you, you see the people outside. <laughs> you could use bots and also have everybody outside loving the record. Now, I, I, I'll be honest with you. Talk to my man from Spotify. I won't say the name right now. But let's just Spotify, nigga. He said, hey, y'all gonna be honest with you? I don't know what that person on your stream was talking about. Them streams. Them Kendrick streams is real. Shouting out Drake directly to right after that? This nigga would say some shit now after the whole beef died down though, huh? His actions spoke volumes during and after this whole beef. And it seems like now he's still fighting to be in the big three conversation when he officially eliminated himself. Hey Cole, go ride your damn bike, bro. No one cares. I know he's J. Cole is a passive aggressive rapper. 
That's what everybody sucks. saying, man. He's trash. I don't care what his song sounds like. I can't stand when people say he can rap. He can make great songs. Okay, well, Drake can too. That don't, that don't make Drake not a bitch. Drake's still a bitch, in my opinion. I can't stand motherfuckers that are so biased. They like to discredit an artist as if they're not great. Drake has made great music. That don't change my feelings towards him. He has made great music. He can't write. He has written for other people before. But the motherfucker's a bitch, and he's still a bitch. J. Cole can write. He is a great rapper as far as writing stuff down. He's still a bitch. They're both facades. The fakest motherfuckers in the industry. One don't stand on shit, acts like he's this conscious rapper and has high mor morals, but he does sneak-ass, conniving-ass, snake-ass shit on the side. And the other one tries to act like he's something he ain't. Like a gangster, like he'll do some shit. When he ain't never lived that life, it is what it is. I'm bullying right now. This that villain talk, man. This that. You know what I think is really interesting about all this? Like he, like yeah, I'm the villain, and yeah, I'm a stand in that, and I'm calling y'all out, y'all some bitches. It's like this would be way more effective if you were showing your face. <laughs> You know, you you need to put your face out there so you can really have this persona like, yeah, this is what the fuck I said. This is how I feel. He got my face associated with the words that I'm that I'm spewing. This is how I feel, y'all. Bitch, what's up? Like that would that would carry a bit more weight. Just saying, <laughs> if you want to have this persona. Um, but yeah, I I gave my opinions <laughs> already. I stated how I feel about this song. One thing I will say is that it seems like a lot of people are on the same page about all of this, which is kind of surprising because usually I feel like opinions are split quite a bit, but everything that I have seen being said about the situation um, is pretty much the same. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people who like speak about music, hip hop, pop culture, etc., they they pretty much feel the same way. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens from here. And you know what else Cole has to say. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this all goes down. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!